No, I said there's nothing for me. The bag situation more comes from um, the, the the chef side. Like if I'm like my average chef takes probably three pounds, right? So that's six. So you're getting six, seven bags dropped off is a very, very inconvenient to try to put that into a walk-in cooler because try to stack, you know, six bags, right? It's not as easy as six containers. So a lot of my belief is just not so much against the bag system. It's against, I mean, against, it's just thinking of the end usage. For me, we as farmers so often want to, you know, change the world. We want to do all this. You guys sometimes just remove yourself from the situation. It, I think the most beautiful idea that, you know, the most priciest price product, I stand behind it. If nobody buys it, I just have a really expensive hobby. That's really more the philosophy that it comes from. Bags, absolutely. I see a lot of, like, for example, the salad program. There's nothing. I see a lot of farms doing pea shoots or sunflowers in a bag. They're not that big of a deal. Seeing in someone's home refrigerator, no different than getting a bag of lettuce, right? Really. So I'm not yeah. so much concerned about that. It's when you put, you know, a pound of broccoli in your bag, because you're going to get a lot of challenges with shelf life, because it's going to sink. You're getting condensation on a larger on a larger area, resulting in a diminished shelf life product. So it's more so on that level. It's the quality of the product. Is it going to be there the same length of time? But my focus has always been shelf life, shelf space. So if I'm dropping off, like I have clients taking 20 tubs, like 20, you know, 64 ounce containers. Though the bags, it would be impossible for them. It'd be a mess. It'd be all over the place, right? It wouldn't be of use. And they'd probably drop me, right? If I wouldn't tell me, or they might tell me it doesn't work, right? So the point being is, as long as end usage and end consumer is in mind, and if you think it's good, then go with it, right? But we've changed our model along the way. And maybe you will, maybe you won't, right? Every, that's the cool thing with this business. You, you choose your directive, go down that trail, and you never know what's going to happen at the end. And that's what I really like about it. So if you have it, you have the product, try it out. And maybe it'll be like us where we had certain shelves we didn't use. Well, they just became germination shelves. So maybe these plastic bags will just become, you know, your pea shoe bag, right? So, you're, you know, maybe you'll do a value size, you know, container of peas. Boom, there's a pound bag, right? For five bucks, done right? Or maybe that's what you do with your excess to the food bank, 